So let's now create a new service inside of the services folder, and that's going to be called toast. So we'll have a toast.service.ts. We're going to export a class called the toast service. And as we will be injecting the toast controller into the constructor, we will need the injectable decorator. So let's import that from Angular Core. And then we can inject the toast controller with a reference to that toast controller from Ionic Angular. So now that we have both of these things, we can create a very nice helper method called show. That will take a message as a string and a duration as a number, but the default duration will be three seconds. So we can return this dot toast control dot create. We can pass through both the message and the duration and then present this to the user. So why would we do this? Why wouldn't we just use the toast controller all the time? Well, we may want a different toast controller based on the environment. Perhaps we have an Angular application or another application where we don't want to use Ionic's toast controller, or we just want an easier API that we don't have to keep instantiating this toast controller. Instead, we can just put it inside of this service. So if we quickly save this file and head over to our app module, we can make a toast service. If we save that, we can then inject this into the edit shopping item page as toast. And simply said this dot toast dot show when we save this item. And we can show a toast that says item dot name has been saved. Don't forget to use the back ticks here to bind to that particular item.name. This is how we make what's known as a template literal inside of ES6 or ES2015. If you haven't seen this before, I do have videos on this. So I definitely suggest you check them out. Let's do the same for our ad shopping item. Let's add our toast service. And when we decide to add the item, we can say toast added. So if we went to add a new product such as the MacBook Pro, we could say quantity one, price of 2000, and we hit add. You can see that we now get this toast at the bottom of the screen. If we go and change this to instead be quantity two and hit save, we get the edit shopping item is not a function. And I'm not sure why, because I have then restarted Ionic Lab and it's just worked entirely. So perhaps there was a slight bug there, but nonetheless, it works now. We can go through and edit that product and we can see that we have MacBook Pro has been saved. So we now have this little service, which we can call to this toast here, and we can display an item on screen. If we wanted to add a duration for this, we certainly could. Maybe we wanted that one to be 5,000, but I like the default of 3,000. So what is there to do next? Well, at this point in time, we can currently edit the item by selecting it. But at this point in time, we currently do not have the ability to delete the item. So maybe on this edit screen, when we select edit shopping item, we want the ability to then hit delete instead of save. So let's take a look at that in the next lecture.